I've been going on about this common purpose. I think that most companies don't do what I call a common purpose. They do what I think is a waterfall purpose. What do I mean by that? Well, a bunch of them go up, to, up a mountain, they go into a room, they put wet towels around their head, they turn the lights off, and they, they come up with some brilliant purpose statement. Then they have a jolly good drink, and then they come down the mountain, and they come back into the business and says, this is our purpose, our new purpose. And everybody has to agree, so that's where we are going. That is not a common purpose. That is the executive purpose being cascaded, waterfall style, down to everybody. For many people, that has no relevance, so that they don't really take it in. If you ask most organizations, the people in the organization, what's their purpose, they, they don't tell you that often. Or if you, if you ask them, they all say different things. So this is a real one from a very large applications business who have something in the field of around about 25,000 developers, as well as all the, the development infrastructure and the IT and servers that manage that, the test environment. So this is a big company. So they put this together. There's a business purpose, employee purpose, and customer purpose. And we need to get a common purpose. So let me show how we did that. First of all, as they were all employees, we said, why do you come to work? Now, apart from the obvious, because I need the money, there are other things. And they put this statement together. And these, this is their words. They want to come to work to contribute with their skills, to be fairly rewarded. They want the environment to be secure and trusting. And it offers them challenges and the ability to grow and develop. Is that too much to ask? So just think about that purpose, where you are, and would your employees say something like that and compare to what you actually think it is? Is it trustful? Trust comes out on every measurement that I take in, in workshops. Just recently, trust was the biggest thing. The biggest barrier to trust is management must first become trustworthy. They are in the position of power. They must become worthy of their trust through their behaviors and their, their actions. You cannot go up to a workforce that you've beaten up over many years and now say, um, look, we've ch had a change of heart. You should now trust us and we should now collaborate and we'd like you to give us all your best ideas, please. That's not going to happen. And that's in the valley, that you stay in the valley of despair with that. Okay, contribute with my skills, fairly rewarded, secure and trusted environment. Okay, from the customer. Now understand what these guys were doing. They were selling really big enterprise-wide applications and small apps that went, went with that. Okay, so it's a big software company, big e ERP systems, which they've broken up into much smaller digestible bits now, after long year, many years of big enterprise systems. So they had to change the way they were working. But why were the customers buying your products? Okay. And those type of products, they talk to the customer and he says, well, look, it's not just the applications that I, uh, that I want. I, I, I want it to strengthen my business. Okay. I want, it, I want it to strengthen my business in a way that differentiates me. And it provides a return on my investment. Is that too much to ask? So you ask them things like, so what, what differentiates you today? How can we, what other services or products can we provide you that would help you differentiate? This is a very different conversation. And who's having it are very different. We are talking about the staff who develop the stuff. Not the marketing group, not the chief exec, the staff because they are full of ideas. But if you've got an organization which is rigid, doesn't allow them to even talk, almost command and control, like you're not going to get that innovation. You cannot command and control creativity. 
So creating this environment where they do take decisions, we are trusting them. And the customer, so you, you would take measurements and say, well, let's find out how we can prove that you get a return on your investment if you use this right. And if they're not using it right, well, that's probably another service that says something about your product as well. So finally, for the business purpose, it was they provide software and services and they provide infrastructures if the customer wants them for that to run on. Now, those are three different purposes, the business purpose, the employee and the customer. Yet, what most organizations do is they take a little bit of the customer, a little bit of the employee, and a little bit of the business, and they put that into one purpose. It's not, it's just an abbreviation of three purposes. So what the trick here was to say, well, how can we come up with a set of words that would, whichever box I was sitting in, as an employee, business manager, or the customer, I would agree with this purpose. I might interpret it slightly different, because I have different ends, but the means and the purpose is the same. And you might not get there for a while, because these are enough to start. And it was only six months later that they come back and said, let's have a go at that other one. Because by that time, what they had done is they looked at, well, what do we need to measure for our employees that we are providing that environment? So they created new measurement systems, not, are you happy? Okay? It's much more subtle than that. And therefore, that gives you a phrase of and now asking questions anonymously, very different. And for the business, they needed to measure, are they providing a stable infrastructure, a robust infrastructure? Is that infrastructure safe? It's the safety aspect of that, or is it all wobbly? Then you need to pay attention, because if your infrastructure is wobbly, then the service to the customer is going to be wobbly. And finally, after six months, this is what they came up with. With pride, we re re relentlessly pursue and apply our insight, ingenuity, and technologies to create wealth and a secure future. Because that's what everybody wants.